guys, my name is Ange. Welcome back to my channel, Frugal, where I am documenting all about our family's journey to becoming debt free. We're paying off that debt, we're cash flowing things. It's, it's a good thing, it's a really good thing. Today's video is gonna be quick, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be furious. I did wanna do a savings goal update. Last month, I talked about our 2020 savings goals and I will link that video up here in case you haven't watched that yet. My husband and I are trying to cash flow four things in 2020. And the reason why we cash flow things is because we don't wanna get in any more debt than we already are. Uh, so that's goal number one. And goal number two is just that we have found that cash flowing things, um, having specific savings goals, having specific sinking funds has really helped us along on our debt free journey. Now, some people say when you're paying off debt to put any extra money you have towards debt, but because we are a single income family and we only have so many paychecks a month and those paychecks only go so far and we're not making six figures a year, uh, we have to kind of prepare for anything several paychecks in advance. Just to do a quick recap, the four things we are saving for in 2020 are our kids' birthdays slash birthday parties, so basically their birthday present, and which we like to spend about $100 on each kid for their birthday present. You better go to a stripper town because it does look, look real though. That's the thing is you can't even tell between the like, like the people that mock it and. <laughs> that was my. That was my husband. <laughs> um, the first savings goal is our kids' birthday. Uh, it's for their birthday gift and their birthday parties. So that's our first savings goal. Our second savings goal is my sister-in-law is getting married and I'm a bridesmaid. So obviously there's, um, you know, costs with bridal shower, bachelorette party, um, getting hair and makeup done. I already did buy my dress. That's paid for. Third savings goal is tires. My car is in desperate need of new winter tires next year. So we're already preparing for that. That was one of our starting debts. When we started our debt-free journey was we had a tire bill. We're not gonna repeat that mistake again. History is not repeating itself. Oh, no, no. And then lastly is Christmas. We start saving up for Christmas as soon as it ends in January. We start putting a certain amount of money aside. Each month, I kind of wanna give you guys an update on how we're doing with our savings goals. And so here it is. All right, so the kids' birthdays, we were able to take out of our February budget $60 to put aside for the kids' birthdays slash birthday parties. Um, and I really wanted to make sure that I hit this savings goal. We're trying to put away $60 a month to achieve both kids' parties. We have one kid's birthday in June. The other is in October. So because our first savings goal is one of our child's um, is one of our child's birthday parties, I just want to make sure that we're hitting that sixty dollars a month. That's over here. Oh, sorry, it's a little shiny. There we go. Sixty dollars a month. That's over here, and there you go. We're trying to spend about two hundred fifty dollars on each kid with their birthday party and birthday gift. Next up is wedding. Um, we were unable to put any money away with Phil's February paycheck. So that's, but the wedding's in October. We still have time to hit that goal. Maybe once we pay off a couple of our smaller debts, we'll be able to achieve that a little sooner. Um, but we'll see. So, so far, nothing on the wedding. Same thing with tires. Tires, I budgeted out $1,500. Again, that is like the creme de la creme of winter tires. I always like to over budget for everything. I'm hoping that all of these budget categories are actually not what we spend and maybe a hundred or a couple hundred dollars less. So again, tires, um, our goal is to try to save 125 a month to hit that $1,500 goal by the end of the year. But again, I, <sighs> and then Christmas and our goal is to put a hundred dollars a month away for that. Um, I actually sold something on Facebook marketplace this week that was a hundred bucks. And so I just put that Facebook marketplace sale Instead of putting it to debt, I put it towards our Christmas fund because again, the only thing we could really fund just because we are in so much debt is 
I put away $60 a month in our kid's birthday and I put the rest toward our medical debt. And then these three weren't filled out until I made that Facebook marketplace sale. And I was like, okay, well that can just go in our Christmas fund. There is our savings update again. I will put that link of my initial savings goals and like a better explanation of how I came up with the numbers and this little chart here and everything in the description of this video. Um, just in case you guys are curious. Also, I would love to hear about what you guys have for savings goals, what you guys spend on Christmas, what you guys spend on, you know, your kids' birthday parties. Let me know. I'm nosy. I love that stuff. Give me your input. Let me know. Or if you just bought winter tires, let me know what it costs because I have no idea what to budget out for. Dee, 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 dee. This is what we saved um, with Phil's last paycheck, which was last week, and also with me hustling on Facebook Marketplace. One of these days, you guys, I will not have to deal with random strangers on Facebook Marketplace, but let me tell you what. If you have anything, especially baby items, that is what I've had the most success selling. And I'm telling you what, like if you guys have baby items, take a second, wash them, take some decent pictures and you can make some money, especially if you have debt to pay off or savings goals or anything, anything. It suck when you get like 50 messages of people going like, is this still available? And you're like, yes. And then no one answers. But then occasionally you get the person like the one that I got last week that said, hey, is this still available? I'll pay $100. You got it. Again, this was a super quick video, um, but I just wanted to update you guys on our savings goals and um, how we're doing on our progress for this month. And I'll probably do a video like this every single month just to show you guys that sinking funds and savings goals can happen while you're paying off debt and it feels pretty darn good. Like it already feels amazing to have $100 saved for Christmas and it February just started. Like that feels great. It feels great and it feels great to have 60 bucks put away for our kids for a birthday party that we're gonna have in June. It feels good. Granted, I don't have any money on winter tires yet or my sister-in-law's wedding, but we'll get there. We'll get there. But seriously, like if you guys know what winter tires cost, like decent, I don't want crap winter tires. I want decent winter tires costs. Um, let me know in the comments below because we haven't bought tires like in a really long time. Well, and then when we did buy them, we really financed them because we had zero money in our bank account at the time. So let me know. So let me know if you guys have any savings goals or anything that you want to share or any questions. I love that. And I will probably make a video about any questions because I'm new. I'm, in, I'm, I'm new to YouTube. So let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please tap that little thumb, uh, thumbs up button. And um, while you're around the thumbs up button, if you haven't subscribed yet, you, you might just want to do that. Just saying, you know, see if I meet my goals or not. Just Cause I'm probably going to cry either way. If you like to see, you know, overweight housewives cry, just saying, whether I make my goals or not, I'm going to cry. I'm a very emotional person. So you might want to subscribe just for that. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.